Now, we have some missing number division problems. But this first question isn't really a missing number problem at all, because all we have on this side of the equal sign is an answer box, and it doesn't matter whether the equal sign comes at the start of the calculation, like it does here, or at the end, like it usually does. We do the same thing. We just need to divide 596 by 2. So we can use short division. 5 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 1. That's because 2 times 2 is 4, and then from 4 we need one more to get to 5. Now we have 19 divided by 2. That's 9 remainder 1, because 9 times 2 is 18, then we need one more to get to 19. So now we have 16 divided by 2, which is 8, because 8 times 2 is 16. So our answer is 298. Now 632 divided by something equals 8. Well here it's the second number or the divisor that's missing. And when the second number in a division problem is missing, we still need to use division to find our missing number. So we need to divide 632 by 8. If we look at the first digit, 6 is less than 8. So what we can do is take the first two digits together and divide 63 by 8. Well, 7 times 8 is 56. But then, from 56, we need 7 more to get to 63. 7 times 8 is 56, and 56 plus 7 is 63. So we get 7 remainder 7. So now, we have 72 divided by 8. That's exactly 9, because 9 times 8 is 72. So our missing number is 79. Now, something divided by 9 equals 304. So here, it's the first number of our division question, or the dividend, which is missing. Now, division problems can be read backwards as multiplication problems. So to find our missing dividend, we can multiply 304 by 9. So, if it's the second number of the division that's missing, we still divide to find our missing number. But if it's the first number that's missing, we multiply. 4 times 9 is 36, so that's 3, 6, with the first digit written above the next place value column along. 0 times 9 is 0, plus 3 is 3, and 3 times 9 is 27. So our missing dividend is 2,736.